All right, so I got a little setup here just to show you that your ECU is charging properly. Um, if you look at the screen there, you'll see my oscilloscope going. For the oscilloscope, the red or pinkish looking uh, signal, that is going to be the logic input into your alternator's control driver. So when you see that go high or uh, you know go up to about 5 volts, it's turning the uh, alternator on. Now, uh, it does work on a duty cycle, so you may see like a square wave pattern. That's normal. Or you may see it 100% which is also normal. Uh, the green pro, oh, and the uh, pink one is on a uh, two volt division. So each little square block you see going up is two second, I mean, uh, two vol volts. And the time is one second per square. So, you know, you're going right, each square is one second. When you go up, each square is two volts. Now the green one is actually on uh, four volt divisions, same time frame, but four volt, four volt division. So this one is actually on the output of the control driver. So when the alternator is on, you'll see this one go high up to about five volts, and you'll see this one go high up to you know whatever the battery voltage is. Uh, and that's normal operation. That is what you're supposed to be seeing. So if we see anything different than that, we know that we have a problem here. If we see that, then we know that we're good. Um, I don't have any kind of external input, you know, set up. Everything is being handled by the ECU. Uh, the only thing that I have connected is power and uh, the data line so we can see the live data and then, uh, you know, sending in a crank signal to think that it's running. Um, so right now, if we look at the auto, we have 15.88 voltage is what it's sensing. So I'm going to turn that down, and we're going to try to drop below this target charging voltage so that when we drop below that, we'll see the generator or alternator turn on. Okay, so let's drop it down one there. Let's drop it down that one. Let's drop it down a little bit more. And there we see we have a little duty cycle of the alternator coming on. Let's change our division a little bit to where it's not quite so uh, slow. Okay, now I missed it. Now we had a 100% duty cycle. So let me actually turn this back on. Why is my pink not working? I think that fixed it. I think my pink, the probe, was out. Let's check it again here. Let's drop this back down. Okay, there we go. Now we see the pink working. You know what? Let me invert the pink signal so that we can see it together. So what I'm going to do, instead of having pink go up with the green, I'm going to have the pink go down while green goes up. So let's turn it back up. Now we should see them come back together. There we go. And I'm going to try to get this to go down right at the, uh, right near the target voltage. So we're right at the top range of it now. Now we're just a hair below it. We haven't got it to trigger on yet. Still just a little bit below it. It don't want to come on. There we go. So now we can see our duty cycle for the driver. We see the input control signal telling it, hey, you got to come on. We see the output coming out. It is on. We see our lamp there coming on. And, you know, it's, it's charging pretty good. And now it's switched to 100% because it says, hey, the, the battery, we're telling it to charge, but it's not charging. We need to give it more power. So now if I was to slowly take this up, you, you may see the duty cycle come back on to where it's trying to limit the charging. There we go. Yeah, see, now it's like it's getting close. we got to slow that charging down. And then we go past it, and it will turn it off. There we go. So the charging is working like it's supposed to. Um, if you drop it, the voltage, really fast, it instantly comes on 100%. If you, you know, rise it really fast, it instantly cuts it off. 
if you play around the charging area, it, it is doing the correct duty cycle. Um, so there, there is absolutely no issue there. But if you do have an issue with your wiring, maybe like a background or a broken wire terminal for your alternator or something like that, the code stored inside the ECU while it's bad will prevent it from coming on. So just make sure that you, um, you know, check all your wiring and have a scan tool that you can, you know, monitor the battery voltage, the target charging voltage, and that you can clear those DTCs if you have to. Um, but that's it. I'm going to do some more basic testing just for some other basic stuff that goes bad on them. And then I'm going to seal it up and get it shipped back out to you.